That leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Most of us have used that expression, sometimes in reference to a bad memory or someone having done something that triggers anger, disappointment, or disgust. Like reading Joe Mercola's daily diatribe leaves a bad taste in my mouth. But there is a more scientific angle to bad taste as well. If you have ever experienced pine mouth syndrome, you have experienced kakojusa. How's that for a novel word? It literally means having a bad taste in the mouth, a bitter or metallic taste. And that is just what happens to people after consuming pine nuts, be they raw, roasted, or blended into a sauce like pesto. Doesn't happen right away, but about one to two days after consumption. The disturbing attack on our taste generally lasts no longer than a week and then disappears. Uh, good riddance. To start with, pine nuts aren't really nuts, but the seed of the pine tree. They're hidden inside pine cones. There are over a hundred varieties of pine trees, but only about 20 produce edible seeds. The first report of bad taste due to pine nuts was in 2001 in the European Journal of Emergency Medicine. The author's colleague, an anesthesiologist, experienced a bitter metallic taste two days after eating a handful of pine nuts. He made the connection when a couple of days later, his wife and friends had the same experience after eating a dish prepared with the same nuts. The media got a hold of this, and of course, liking medical curiosities, began to report on pine mouth syndrome. That led to a number of people contacting poison control centers with their own pine nut adventures. By 2012, thousands of cases had been recorded, both in Europe and in North America. Certainly, not everyone who eats pine nuts experiences kakojusa, so how come some do? The vast majority of reports have come after eating nuts from, sea, from the species uh, Pinus armandi. These nuts are relatively recent imports from China, which would explain why the syndrome had not been noted before. Testing has found no pesticide residues, nor any specific natural constituent that could be responsible for the problem. But that doesn't mean much, because pine nuts contain dozens and dozens of compounds, and finding a specific one that might be causing an adverse reaction is very challenging. People who experience the syndrome have no underlying medical condition, so at this point, pine mouth syndrome is regarded as an idiosyncratic reaction or individual hypersensitivity. So far, the evidence seems to suggest that Pinus armandi, rather than all pine nuts, is the culprit, but no component that is specific to this species has been detected so far. I suppose one might say that the failure of science to find out why some people develop kakojusa after eating pine nuts leaves a bad taste in one's mouth. But I won't say that. But I will say that that for today is our cup of joe.